Well, in our shows is called the macro bloom. It's a really in tight of a big bloom that covers the entire sheet of the paper. And I do this actually as large as 30 inches by 40 inches. But I'm going to show you a small demo right here. So the first thing I did, I've already done it here, is I dropped a whole bunch of ink into the center, and not quite center, a little off center of my paper. And I'm just not worrying about that. I'm letting it dry. And I'm going to put another color in. Uh, I'm using a darker color and a lighter color. So one's dark. This one is called, I don't know, Mermaid. And this one is aqua, so mermaid and aqua. But one's darker, one's lighter. So once that's down, I'm going to go ahead and drop a whole bunch of this in the center. Let that go in there. And I'm going to give it a huge, hard blow. Really big, really hard, a lot of breath. Then I'm going to drop in a bunch of alcohol, and I'm going to blow that again. And we're, you can see how it's receding. I'm getting this huge bloom, and I'm already getting petals just does it automatically. It's so awesome. It's just so much fun to do. So I'm going to put a bunch of alcohol in here. You can see there's a lot of alcohol. It's pushing all of that. And while it's still really wet, <gasps> blowing that out. So I'm trying to establish a really nice center in my um, painting. Then it's pretty simple, and it's a lot like we did the smaller bloom. I'm going to start in the center, and I'm just going to pull. Oh, I had some gold on there. Pull out to the side. Um, and kind of curve it to make it a little more exciting. Um, and I'm just going to kind of go around and just establish some of these big curves. They're not right exactly next to each other. So once I get that established, then um, I'm going to put alcohol onto my brush and kind of clean it off. Going to get all that blue out of there. I'm just going to have a bunch of alcohol on my brush, and I'm just going to start out here on the edge, and I'm just going to kind of work in a nice light color. It's just very soft, and then I'm going to pull that in. So at the first thing we do is blow the center and kind of pull out, and now I'm just putting some alcohol on here, and I'm getting this nice light tone, and I'm pulling that in again, trying to do a curve to the center to make it a little bit more fun. And so I'm doing a couple of those all the way around. Nice light tone out here, filling in that white, and then pulling it into the center. Okay, so once I get it to like this again, I go back and I kind of start over again. Now maybe I'll use a different color since it's all so uh, the same. And I'm gonna pull one side of my flower is going to be lighter and the other side is going to be darker. So I'm going to use a dark blue and I'm going to go ahead and just draw right with the tip of this, not exactly from the center, but out to give myself a nice line of blue. Ooh. And again, curving a little bit, just a few on one side. And then I'm going to go back with that lighter blue and pull here and give myself a few on that side. And so I've got this like difference going on. Then how I finish this is just it's kind of up to you, but I'm just going to keep pulling from the out in, from the in out, and finishing off these. I'm using a very thin brush. And finish off these, uh, kind of filling in all the whites here, pulling in and out, but always all the way to the edge, always to the edge. I'm not doing halfway because that's how it's going to feel like a bloom. You can see how I'm pulling that out. And always thinking about the difference in color. I want to get darker on one side and lighter on another. So you can see how it's starting to come together. Mm -hmm. Pretty. And maybe if it if I don't have enough going on with color, I might pull in another color that maybe is a little bit odd. So maybe I'm going to pull in this crazy bright green. This is called lettuce. And I'm going to think a little bit about. I've got nice variants going here, but maybe I'll just pull a little bit of green down in here. And again, I'm going to pull that out, kind of blending that in. Pulling all the way out. So you can see how it's nice to have it working different colors going around and around. And then the last thing I'm going to do is go in and put that center back in. So you can see I, the center's gone. I'm just going to put alcohol in there and I'm going to blow nice and hard and get that center back in there. I'm putting alcohol in there. Getting that center back in. So we got 
that's a nice, it's kind of pretty. It's kind of got this little explosion going on in here with the different layers. So I might break a couple of those so it's not. It's just, it's just turning out, you know, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. I love teals and blues. You'll see mm -hmm. most of my work has lots of teals and blues in it. So once I let that dry, then I go in with the markers and I'll put in uh, some little detail. I'll start to think about maybe I want, oh, see it's still wet. And blow on it to dry it. Okay, it's starting to dry. So I might put in like some, some dots here. That marker's not coming out as dark as I thought. Okay, so this will be a real dark one. This is a juicy one. And maybe I'll pull in some little stamens. Maybe I'll come in with black even. You might be like, oh, that's so daring, put the black in, but that can be really cool. Because this is a black alcohol ink marker and not a Posca pen, um, I might even put alcohol in the center of this again and blow just to kind of see what happens. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. You never know. You might ruin it, but it's just a piece of paper, so who cares? Okay, we'll put a little alcohol in there. Let's see how pretty that got. And that's part of doing this is just being daring enough to say, I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see. It's all fun. It's all experimentation. But you can see it's starting to look kind of cool. So that's kind of how we do the macro bloom.